Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video I will show you how to change color of element uh, with Nuke. Usually I made tutorial in Italian uh, just because uh, there's not a lot of um, tutorial about Nuke uh, uh, in Italian and also I'm, I am Italian and uh, so I thought it was a good idea to do new tutorial in my original language, but sometimes uh, I kind of figure out about a uh, new tutorial, I create new tutorial, and uh, I thought it was cool to share this tutorial with all of you guys. And um, in this tutorial we're gonna talk about, we will talk about really basic stuff about Nuke. I just want to show you how to change color of elements and uh, here we have this um, uh, footage of a, a ladybug. It's a really short one. Now it's uh, rendering and uh, basically what I want to do, I want to change the color of the red part of the ladybug with some other more you know original color here you go it's pretty short but still there's everything that we need to you know to use some basic stuff that you know you need to know when at first you start with nuke so first of all let's click on the tab of your keyboard and import a tracker you go you have a tracker now and then we need to import a roto just click the O the letter O on your keyboard and then we will see the first thing that we're gonna do is um, uh, we're gonna draw our um, roto shape so to, sh to um, design your roto shape you need to choose the frame in your footage when you get the most of the information uh, and um, remember, always remember when you start your roto shape those are the information that you need to know because uh, the first frame should be the frame where you get the most of the information of your shape And let's see, let's see that, you know, I want to start with the, the frame 120, so I'm going to start to draw, to use my Berzier. I want to start to, you know, start with this point. And then I want to start over here, another point. Uh, we're just drawing the, um, the basic shape now. Here you go until the end, and then once that you uh, have your shape ready, we're gonna go and fix the point. You know, we're gonna move this, the handle of the point, and I try to make sure that our shape match perfectly with uh, our. Ladybug. I thought it was really interesting using an insect for a tutorial and uh, try to make it work and try to change color. It's really interesting. Uh, I think that it's. Uh, um, it was really interesting to me. So now that you have ready your um, first frame of your shape. What we want to do, at first we, I want to show you how to connect uh, uh, the shape to the tracker, to a tracker. So we're going to do just a, tra a one point track for now. So I'm going to connect the tracker to our footage and we're going to... Also the ladybug is really interesting because uh, you can use... Uh, those black dots to um, to track the ladybug and uh, I thought it was really the perfect sample to 
combine tracking rotoscope and all those basic stuff. So we're gonna add one track and uh, now we move the track to the point that we want to track. So let's move it. Now let's think about this point over here. This one. So let me uh, reduce the Potter area. Now let me put a little bit bigger the searching area. And then uh, we are pretty much good to go. We're on the first frame. Another thing that I want to do, I want to put like a uh, uh, set this first frame that we draw the, the shape as our reference frame and then we're gonna put uh, on the transform setting we're gonna put a uh, match move because uh, then I'll connect I will connect it I will connect to the to our roller shape okay perfect now I can um, start to analyze my track I'm gonna play it and then I'm gonna stop it uh, as soon as at 150 because that's enough. Now we're gonna check the track. The track seems working pretty well. Uh, don't worry, there's gonna be a point where the track seems like jumping, but it's it's really the movement of the insect. The insect they move really fast uh, and they're really jumping in their movement, so uh, it's totally fine. So. And right now I just want to show you how to change the color and then it's totally up to you. You can um, make this track as perfect as you want. So now I'm going to add uh, to our footage a color correct note just to see how does this work. And I'm going to connect the mask to our rotor shape and uh, let's see how our how this um all situation work so now we can um adjust the value that we want to change i need to go on the you guys need to check this on the frame that you that frame that famous frame of your match moving so let's go on uh, 120 here you go here you go here it is so let's see, we just uh, subtract the whole the saturation, but we can actually change the color. So for now, I'm just gonna work on the um, I'm just gonna work on the saturation. But you can do like a a better job working on on, on all the um, all the different um, elements of the color correct. Let's do this uh, ladybug pink. Let's do it pink. A really bright and unusual color for a ladybug. So let's see, you change the color, but let's see how this track is working. So let's play the footage and um, the footage is not really working. So as you can see, usually when you work with thing with the um, you know with the uh, animal bugs or human being you always need and if they move a lot you always need more than one track so we're gonna go on disconnect everything and um, I wanna go here and uh, on the transfer uh, put known on the transfer setting and then uh, uh, we're gonna add another track so you add another track and uh, then we move the track uh, uh, in this point here on the head of the ladybug. This is a really interesting point. There's a lot of contrast of line, horizontal, vertical and colors. So we're gonna connect the track because we need to, you know, we need to analyze this point and create a track. So I just make a little bit smaller my front area, and then uh, we're gonna select the rotation, the scale, and the transform. 
I'm deselecting the first track for a second. And now, hold on, I need, I need to select the track too. And I need to move everything on the 120 frame and from the beginning. Maybe it's better. It's better from the beginning. And I'm going to send the track. Here you go, it's analyzing everything. And now it's stopping on 150. Okay. So now we have our second track. Let's go and check the track if it's working properly or at least good enough to show you for this example. And seems like it's working pretty good. Uh, uh, that big jump is after our, our, you know, uh, our, what we, what we're interested to, what we're working on. So I'm just going to delete all the frame after that. And here you go. And then the track seems pretty okay. So now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I will reconnect the first track. And then uh, what we need to do, we need to connect the tracker to the roto. But we're going to connect the transfer data of the tracker to the transfer data of the roto and through an expression so you guys will see that there's gonna be a green line between the tracker and the roto and this is one of the most efficient way to connect the, a tracker to anything that you're doing so we will hold command and drag every um, everything from the uh, translate from the X to the X of the roto, the epsilon to the epsilon. Then we're gonna click and drag the rotation and the scale. And you see now here we have this green line. And which means is those two are connected with an expression. So let's go and clean our properties tab and let's see how it is. And there you go, guys. Here you go. The track is working pretty much good. Uh, we just need to fix a few frames where the track is going, is not working properly. So you just need to go in one of those frame and select click on your roto and uh, just select all the point I always recommend you to do this job uh, uh, selecting all the point try to be as much neat as possible less point that you move uh, the better it is also try also to move always point uh, group point never uh, so you make less change as possible and with a lot of patience, you go all over and you change this point where they don't work. And your job pretty much is done. So in this video, guys, I show you some basic stuff about Nook. Some um, how to change color of this ladybug. But you guys can really change pretty much color of anything that you are working on. And... Um, Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and uh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy it and uh, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and to leave a comment on this video please uh, let me know what you think if you have any other method if you would do this in another way and soon I'm, soon I'm gonna put a link to download this small footage so you guys can you know exercise with this footage as well I'm working on my new website so on the blog of my website I will put the, all the project files so you guys can download this and exercise uh, and also follow me on the, on the social media. Bye!